Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, early learners. Welcome back to the art room. This, work, this week, we're doing the ABCs of art. So let's start out with our hello song. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to me. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Yesterday, inside the mystery box, we saw the ABCs of art. And that's what we're doing this week. I also had some ABC letters and a little letter. It's maybe I, let me get it out, even though it's not Monday. Don't worry, I'll just bring it up on my lap. You don't have to sit up high in your seats, boys and girls, because I want you to see the two other things that I had in here. I had all of the letters we were going to do through the week. It's A is for artist, B is for bridge, C is for cat, D is for dance, and E is for earring. I also have these magnet letters that I put on this little metal box, and I said, Art ABC. So that clued us in what the week was going to be like, and I should put this up. Maybe if it'll stay up here, if it's strong enough to stay, I'll just put it up here, and you can see the, what we're doing in the future. All right, today is Claude Monet. When he was born in Paris, in France, his family had a grocery store and they wanted him to be a grocery man. But you know what he wanted to do. He wanted to be a painter. So he worked and worked and worked and he painted until he was 50 years old before he had enough money to buy his house. And what he did was, was bought a house in Giverny. And Giverny, he had someone build this bridge across a pond and he had all these water lilies below. And so today we're going to make a bridge across our paper and sponge paint if you have sponges. Otherwise you can paint or use your crayons or use your pastels, however you want. But I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it with paint and a sponge and then you remove the tape and there's white underneath and then I can make the bridge kind of the bluish green that he has on here. And here's Claude Monet, the artist himself. B is for bridge. B is for bridge painted by Monet. Harmony, that means things that go together and get along together. Harmony in his garden is what they say. Because Claude Monet loved nature and he took such good care of his yard, now you can go to his Giverne house and you can walk through his gardens. You can go up to the house. They don't allow you inside. But if your teacher is a Fresno Unified teacher, they can come to my page and see where I link them where you can walk through Monet's garden. And there were frogs in here, and I know that the TK teachers have a frog book that they read and can study this pond. And Pre-K also has Katie and the Water Lily Pond. So you can have your teacher read those books, or you can find them in the library or on the Sora app. But let's get started. and. I'm going to use my paper in a vertical way. Yesterday we painted and did it sideways. I'm going to do it standing up so that, oh no, we did it vertical yesterday too. Let me set this here because I don't want the bridge to take so long to tape off. Now the bridge you can see is an arch, like a rainbow. So I am going to use these little pieces of tape. Now I bought the painter's tape so that I could peel it off easily when I finish painting. And you can't leave it on too long. If you've ever painted your bedroom, it's so crazy what happens with paint. It dries and then the tape, if you pull it off, it just makes a mess. So I'm going to the edge of my paper. And since the tape is straight, I kind of overlap it and go across. And this one will go across pretty well. And then I can kind of fold it over and fold it down and push it down. When I get to the edge, I'll just tear it off. That can be one of the standing up ones. Then at the bottom, I still have more tape. 
So I make a space between and go around and kind of keep the same distance. Look, what, what if I did that? That wouldn't look very good. So I have to either tear it and turn it or turn it if you can do that with just your hands. Go to here. And it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect for me. I don't mind. Small mistakes make it look like your own art. Now they have standing up parts. So I'll put that there and tear it off where it comes to the other tape. And if you can't tear it very easily, get your scissors. Ask a, um, a grown-up or your adult to help you if you need to. That one went off the tape a little, and I don't like it there, so I'm going to fold it up and get it out of the way. I cut my tape ahead of time because I didn't want you to have to wait very long for me. So I'm just going to put these on here, turning it sideways, because I think I'll have an easier time taping it that way. Push it. I'm not pushing down too hard on the other parts because I think I'm going to tear my paper when I lift it up. There we go. Now, I have a bunch of different colors of paint. And on here, we can see there are trees behind. So I'm going to turn this this way because it doesn't matter if I see it or not because trees are pretty easy just to do it. So I'm going to get this paint on my sponge, and I will go uh, around here to make my trees. And I can mix it a little. And even if it gets on the bridge, it's OK, because once I take the ta tape off, I can color or paint afterwards. So don't worry if you don't think it looks good how much paint you put on there. Now, this sponge is one that I bought a long time ago, and it got old, and I can cut it up. Do not cut any um, sponges that your family doesn't give you to, to use, because that might be their dish um, washing sponge or the sponge they use to wash their car. So boys and girls, remember that. You only use the things that you have permission for. I'm going over to my yellow paint, and I'm mixing it in a little bit because I ran out because this sponge used up a lot. Now, I'm down below, there is more blue and green, so I'm getting a little more blue on here. And I will tap, tap, tap the pond water. And I can go back in and use the pink to make my um, water lilies if I need to. But I like to let this dry, and maybe I might have to do this and bring it on Monday and show you how I added my pink colors, because I have them over here just to show you. And I'll show you a little bit of what it would look like. I'm going to use a tiny little sponge. So I'm going to go into the pink by making the white with a little red. And I'm not mixing it perfectly because each of the water lilies is a little bit different from the next one. So I'm going in here and I'll think, if I go to paint more green there, I'll just have to keep my sponge away from my water lilies. The water lilies are flowers that grow out of a round, it looks like a lily pad that a frog would get on. And the flowers make butterflies and dragonflies come around. Now that looks pretty good. I might not use that big sponge. I might just turn this one around and get some paint this way so that I can get between them. Because there are little yellow flowers, and there's some green flowers. And I'm in between here, the trees also are still growing in between there. So I don't need to not paint in there, but I want a little more yellow so you can see the difference between the trees and the bushes. So I'm mixing up a little, going back in for a little darker green and a little blue, because some of the water is beyond this bridge. And I can go into the dark blue maybe with, and mix it with this blue and maybe a little white. See the nice thing about this, no one's telling me what colors to use. I get to decide on my own. And if you have a grown-up at your house that thinks they want to do this, remember, let them get their own paper, because this is a project for you to do. And if you get a picture of yourself working on this and send it to me, I would love that. And then if you add your home address on the letter that you send, then PBS will send you one of their activity books that they've saved for children who write to us. We've sent out a few, and I've gotten letters back from people saying thank you. So that's the nice thing about it. I'm still getting in between here. And you know, it's maybe tomorrow I'll say, oh, I would like to add a little more green to this. And that's the glory of art, because you can come back to it and come back to it 
and come back to it. I still want to add more water down there. And you notice I'm just picking up from the paints next door to it and just going around. Do you like this or do you wish you had a brush and we're doing it with the brush? I like this. I like to get next to my water lily but not go on top of it. I can still go around here with some blue water. And I might just go solid green because that's what the lily pad itself is. It makes it solid green on one side that I can look at. So I can go next to this and get the green next to the water. Oh, I got a lot of turquoise there. I can go around here. I'm really enjoying myself. I hope you are too. I hope you had a chance to get your own sponge and do this. Otherwise, you know, you can do, do this and watch this again, and you can do your painting outside because the weather's been getting nicer, and you can maybe do it in, on top of some newspaper. That's probably what I should have done was added some newspaper to this board, but I'll put something on here and clean it up. Oh, I got a lot of dark blue there. I think it needs a little more watery color. I'm going on the tape so that when I take it off, it will be a solid color across. Get that on there. If you're not painting, it's probably not much fun to watch because you think, oh, is she ever going to get finished with that? But I'm having so much fun doing this. And you could always tell your teacher, could we do this during asynchronous time on Mondays? Because you could then get your papers and paints and sponges ready for that when you're not with your teacher face to face and she's teaching you or he's teaching you. I think I need a little more green over here around the lily pads. Boys and girls, let me tell you a little bit about what we're going to bring tomorrow's for the project. Tomorrow is C is for cat with Chagall. Now Chagall had all those floating things. He has so many goats and musicians. But what you need to bring is water, uh, white paper, watercolors, brush, water. I'm using a black permanent pen. And you know what? I think I'm going to use my watercolor pencils again because they blend so well. And it's a blue cat. And do you think you have to do a blue cat? No. But I'm going to do a blue cat because that's part of my inspiration. All right, let's do our goodbye song. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Now, can I tell you a little more about Chagall? He was the one that we talked about when we did um, I and the Village. So he had an interesting life, and I think you're going to like it. I think I'm going to take off part of my tape, boys and girls. Here's the look for what is it going to be like. Pick up the tape and see, does the paint go away? Oh, look, it worked. I can see my bridge. Bye, boys and girls. See you tomorrow. Learning is good for everyone.